Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this webinar on Making Best Better. I'm Paul Schaffer, and I'm from Syria. I coordinate the work that we undertake on blue green infrastructure and urban water management, and I will be chairing today's session. So the webinar is going to be introducing and demonstrating BEST, which is Syria's benefit estimation tool, uh, and it's been used to value the contribution from blue green infrastructure. So in terms of the agenda for the next slide. Thank you, Bruce. We have a great lineup of presenters uh, for the webinar. Uh, it is going to be recorded and it will be available on our YouTube uh, channel in a few weeks time. All of your microphones have been muted. So the only way to contact us is via the questions. Uh, so if you have any questions during the course, of the individual presentations, please feel free to use the dialog box to raise these questions and we will endeavour to answer these at the end of each presentation and there will also be an opportunity for discussion at the Q&A session. So, and I will uh, ask you, uh, to, well, advise you how to take that forward when we get to it. So, in terms of the agenda that's on your screen, I'm in the process of providing an introduction Bruce Horton from Stantec will provide an overview of BEST and the changes in this version, uh, which is an update from the 2015 version. Chris Stigman, also from Stantec, will provide a presentation on applying using BEST and will hopefully, uh, should uh, the technicalities work in our favour, be using this through uh, the Excel spreadsheet. And then Bruce will be joined by Viv Levy from the RUN agency who will then be using the spreadsheet again uh, to run through a case study on using BEST to value a habitat curation scheme. So the timings we have on there, we may not be able to stick to the precise timing for each session, but we will be closing at uh, 12.30. So uh, we'll be able to send you on your way uh, there. So moving on to uh, the next couple of slides in terms of the aims. So, as I said before, the aim of the webinar is to introduce the updated version of BEST, which has been in circulation and available from the SOSJAIN website, uh, with the address there for the last couple of months. And we, what we want to do this morning is to dispel the myths that BEST is a beast, and also enable uh, users to better understand the value and the functionality of BEST, because it's been improved quite a lot since 2015. So if we move on to talk about the project, like all serial projects, it would have happened with uh, a group of funders uh, for the project and we had a support from a, a few organizations. The funders include the joint EA DEFRA research program, Highways England, and all of the English and Welsh sewage undertakers. This project's also based on uh, BEST 2015, which was uh, funded by uh, a number of these similar organisations and also the Greater London Authority. As ever, our aspirations and ambitions for BEST are greater than available budget. So if you are interested in contributing to BEST and the next phases, and I will talk about those in the future, uh, please let us know. So moving on to a timeline and best journey. I, really, this journey has been undertaken in partnership with Stantec and EcoFutures, who've been holding our hand uh, since 2013, as we've taken the project from uh, inception all the way through to this where we are here today. Uh, we also would not have got where we are today without the input from our enthusiastic project steering group that includes our funders, representatives of local government and our consultants. We started off looking at how we could actually uh, progress retrofitting our subs. And at the time we recognized that as well as having effective community engagement, understanding the business model for changing our urban fabric as a vital part of getting more suds in the ground. We recognize that support funding, particularly partnership funding, that it's helpful to understand the benefits of SUDS and who these accrue to. We also thought we needed a common form of communication and this common, common form of communication is pretty much around currency, i.e. developing 
uh, a valuation and based on pounds and pence that could be shared between the different stakeholders as a basis for discussion and partnership. In 2013, we started the project with an extensive engagement and a review of literature to produce the first version of VEST. And this was previously looking at the benefits from SUDS. At the time, we looked at other tools for green infrastructure and stormwater valuation from the UK and also overseas. The first version of BEST was delivered in 2015, with subsequent updates in 2016 and 2017. We always recognised that the values and information and methodologies used within BEST would improve and would probably need to be updated, and we embarked on this in 2018. At the time, we also thought that the logic and methodologies used in BEST could be expanded to include border blue-green infrastructure and to cover natural flood management as well as SUDS. So we took this opportunity to undertake another data gathering exercise for evidence around both SUDS and natural flood management and also look at the methodologies. So this is the version that we've produced in 2019. And not only have we improved the evidence base and expanded to NFM, we've also taken the opportunity to improve the functionality and usability of the tool. So as I said previously, this version is available on our, our website and there are also other phases that I will discuss a few slides later on. So in terms of how best is being used, it's the use and awareness of BEST has been steadily growing over the last few years. However, we recognise that we've still got quite an amount of work to do to get BEST known and understood by the industry. So uh, we really welcome your help in taking that forward uh, with regards to making sure your colleagues know about the availability of this recording once it's out there. BEST, has, Best 2015 has been downloaded about 10,000 times and it's currently been used by most of the English and Welsh sewage undertakers. We also know that BEST has been used to support a number of partnership schemes and has been used by local authorities to better understand the benefits and obtain funding. BEST has also grown an international reputation and it's been used as part of a European project to look at blue-green infrastructure delivery. The Dutch and uh, Germans have used uh, and reviewed Best, as well as Australia and New Zealand, and feedback from these uh, countries has suggested that uh, BEST is one of the best, if not the best, valuation tools for blue-green infrastructure. So moving on to the project phases. We are currently uh, in phase two, but the first phase, as I mentioned, was about primarily obtaining information and new methodologies and updating the tool. We're currently looking at the application of uh, best to reports in terms of natural capital accounting, and it's likely that we'll be also looking at different types of capitals uh, in terms of social capital as well. So the next phase, which is uh, the most exciting phase, is likely to be looking at uh, spatial representation and the integration with GIS. So uh, what we're hoping to do again here is make the tool online and improve the uh, usability of this. And this is primarily the part that we're trying to obtain funds for. So that's the end of my introduction. And I can see there's no questions, so that's great. I will now pass you over to Bruce Walton, who will provide an overview of BEST and the key changes in the new version.